Perplexity AI is definitely one of my top favorite AI tools. It just keeps improving with lots of great features. So today, let's talk about keyword research with Perplexity. Because honestly speaking, with AI, you can just 10x speed up the process. But what makes Perplexity particularly unique is that it's an AI search engine. So in this video, I'll share the five powerful ways in using the core strength of Perplexity for your keyword research. Bonus, at the end, I'll also share how you can use the latest perplexity spaces to manage your keyword research project. Before I go into each use case, we must be clear about the role of AI in keyword research and not being confused. In a typical keyword research process, it usually covers three steps. Number one, keyword discovery process to brainstorm potential keywords with seek keyword and build a keyword list. And number two, keyword analysis to evaluate each keyword by doing competitive analysis like the search volume, difficulty, wall offense, search intent, etc. And finally, keyword selection and group your keywords into different themes. AI is particularly useful in step number one and two because there are lots of many research work involved in these two process. And this is also where we'll focus in this video. For example, to start a basic keyword research with perplexity, you can first ask it to give you some important keywords for a seek keyword. Let's say home moving. Note, I always recommend using the web focus so we can maximize the scope and the source for variety. And also I would say the pro version is always better than the free version with more detail detail and quality response. And then it will immediately give you some important keyword ideas about this seek keyword or topic. Then you can follow up by asking more for some niche keywords. So these are keywords that are more specific, like piano mover, senior moving surface. Another way is to ask some common question about your seek keyword so you can get an idea on different themes and to extract keyword phrases based on these questions and use it to brainstorm your topical map. Now you have a general idea. Let's talk about some specific ways in using complexity for keyword research. The first way is to identify new keywords. One of the strengths of using perplexity over other AI tools is that it can access the internet source and attach your own source at the same time. So it can consider both the current trending topics from the open web and your own keyword performance data to come up with some new keyword ideas that you may have missed. Let's say I'm doing keyword research for my YouTube channel about the topic perplexity and it doesn't matter it applies to keyword research for website as well. The concept is the same. So now I'm gonna download my keyword data from the analytics dashboard and save it as a CSV file. So the keyword performance file should look something like this. The keywords that my channel have been ranked for and also the performance data. And in this case, that's the real performance for each keyword. Then on perplexity, upload the CSV file and ask it to identify which keywords are performing well and which are underperforming. And then ask it to propose new high potential keywords that my channel can target based Based on my keyword performance as well as the top video results. Of course, if you want, you can narrow the search focus to just video results, but I always suggest initially just expand to the whole open web so that you can also consider some good keywords outside of YouTube ecosystem. Then you will see it will analyze my top performing keywords like perplexity AI, perplexity versus ChatGPT, and the underperforming keywords like perplexity AI for pages. The best part is it will come up with new high potential keywords specifically for my channel and that I can create content around. And I would say they're really good ideas like perplexity versus claw, perplexity AI accuracy, and I really like this idea. So definitely use this method because it is always tailored to your business based on your top performing and underperforming keywords and not just randomly throw keywords for you. Alternatively, you can also apply the same concept to SEO. Just upload the search console keyword report and ask it to do the same analysis based on the top search results. Another tip is if you have lots of search data, you may consider doing doing some filtering first before upload so the results will be more accurate. The next way, which is also my favorite, is to ask it to analyze the search intent for a particular keyword. Search intent analysis is a very important part of keyword research because it allows you to create content that really matches what your audience is looking for and to make sure you have keywords that cover the full conversion funnel from informational down to transactional. In the old days, we need to manually analyze each search result one by one, but with perplexity, it saves you much time by doing an initial analysis. So for example, I'm doing search intent analysis for the keyword kids meal planning. 
Although it may sound very obvious about the search intent for this keyword, but still with this prompt, I can ask Perplexity to identify the search intent details on what people are looking for when searching for this keyword. So you can see it will search the top results for this keyword and come up with a detailed analysis for the search intent, like tips for involving children in meal planning, meal planning for different age group, printable resources. And this is really helpful as unlike on typical keyword tools such as SAMrush just give you a label, informational, commercial. Using this method, you will get a lot more understanding about this keyword before doing a more in-depth analysis manually. The next way is to identify trending keywords. You may wonder why don't we use the traditional keyword tools to spot these trending keywords. Yes, we can still use them, but sometimes these trending keywords may be too new that even those popular keyword tools like Ahrefs can't spot them. So with Perplexly, you can fast track the process before you do a more in-depth analysis using other trending tools. So let's say I'm doing keyword research around the topic, Copilot, and I want to find some training keywords associated with this topic. So first, go to Reddit and to first identify if your topic has an associated subreddit size. The reason we're doing this is to ask Perplexity to focus on this particular subreddit site instead of the whole Reddit site. So in this case, search for Copilot and see anything comes up. So we can see there is a subreddit called Copilot Pro and then copy this subreddit link. And now on Perplexity, ask it to identify the top trending topics across this subreddit site, YouTube, and also recent web sources. And then ask it to base on the trending topics and propose 10 trending keywords related to Copilot. And note, I didn't use any focus search because I want to maximize the scope to also consider web sources, video sources, Reddit sources. And now it will give you some potential training keywords like Copilot Voice, Copilot Vision, Copilot Image Generation. And then what we can do is to double check using Google Trends and see if that's really trending. For example, Copilot Personalization, you can see it has a recent growth spike on web search, which is a good sign. And you can always drill a little deeper. Let's try another keyword, Copilot Voice. Now it's even better. Obviously, the search demand is growing as it's on trend. And you can always dive deeper on other relevant queries and do actual search on the web or YouTube to double confirm that. To achieve the best results, try using a more niche topic and not too broad. For example, like in this case, use Copilot instead of AI because otherwise the results may be very diluted without quality. And also, I found sometimes perplexity may have errors looking for different sources like in this case with web, with Reddit, and also with YouTube. So you just need to open a new thread and try again. All right, another way is to use Perplexity for NLP and semantic keyword research. If you don't know what these keywords are, I've explained that in this video so you can check it out. NLP and semantic keywords are super important to improve the content relevance, especially now we have AI search. These keywords will provide more context for the AI model to pick up your content. So it's a very important part of your keyword research process. The first thing we're gonna do is to gather a list of top search result page URL for your target keywords. In this case, that is dot training. Because instead of asking perplexity to list the top result URL, I found it's more accurate to specify exactly what URLs I wanted to analyze. So you can use this free Chrome extension to extract the URL easily. Paste them on a spreadsheet and copy these URLs. And then on Perplexity, paste these URLs and ask it to analyze the content for these URLs and to extract 50 semantic keywords and phrases related to doc training. Particularly focus on the terms that frequently appear across these pages. So you will see Perplexity is analyzing the URLs and proposed 50 semantic keywords. And these are really useful, like obedience training, positive reinforcement, house training. And these are terms that are often being associated with dog training. Of course, always verify by doing a real search on Google. So obedience training is obviously a good semantic keyword because the search results are highly relevant to dog training. And if you want, you can repeat the same prompt and this time ask it to propose NLP keywords instead to get more keyword ideas. 
Note that sometimes it can happen that Perplexity is not able to analyze all the URLs that you have specified because some sites may block AISs. So try to ensure that more than 10 URLs for these top ranked results. And of course, there are lots of ways to do thematic keyword research, and there are also other pay SEO tools providing similar features. But with Perplexity, you can actually achieve similar results. The next way is to do local keyword research. Google Keyword Planner is definitely my favorite tool when it comes to local keyword research because it allows you to find keywords by specific geographic locations. And now with Perplexity Real-Time Web Access, we can combine both to expand the pool further beyond just the keyword planner data. For example, let's say I'm doing local keyword research about the target keyword coffee shop in Vancouver City. So first on Google Keyword Planner, enter your target keyword coffee shop and pick the location. And in this case, that's Vancouver. And then you will see it will pull up a list of relevant keyword ideas together with the monthly searches for this region and then export it as a CSV file. And then perplexly attach the keyword file we've just export and ask it to consider both the local trends, real-time web data, and the search data from the file and to propose 30 popular local broad keywords and 30 long tail local keywords. And now this is a good starting point. Obviously some I can tell from my experience are definitely popular keywords like downtown coffee shop, coffee shops with Wi-Fi. These are the terms I've used it personally. But of course, always double check. So downtown coffee shop is a good one. You can see the local pack appear on the search result page. Then for the long tail keywords, these will be useful to supplement in your content, perhaps on your Google business profile description, your surface page, and adding these keywords will definitely help increasing the chance Google picks up your website for the local searches. But again, always double confirm before you pick any of these keywords. And if you want, you can always ask the search intent for some of these specific keywords. Now we can take all these use cases one step further and set up the automation using the perplexity space features. If you don't know what is perplexity spaces, just think of it like cloud project or noble LM project where you can create a different workspaces with your personalized knowledge base. And so you can organize your threads and files by topic or project. And it is formally known as collections. For each space, you can define your preferred AI model, custom instruction, and the best part is now you can also upload different files to this space as source for perplexity. There are two main ways you can use these features to manage your keyword research process. The first way to use it is to set up an automated workflow. Let's say I want to set up a project only doing search intent analysis, and then go to spaces, click create a space, and then enter what's the project. So it's a search intent analysis and the description, and then you can also specify the AI model. For me, I love Cloud. And then very important is to set up the custom instruction and ask it whenever I type the keyword, it will perform the web search and analyze the search intent for me. And now let's try a keyword. Let's say toddler discipline. And since we didn't upload any files, so it will only pull the web sources. And now you will see it will do the same analysis as we have covered earlier. And so the best part is you don't need to type the prompt every time. You can just type the keyword and it will automatically do the analysis for you. And not just for search intent analysis, you can automate other repetitive process in your keyword research by creating different spaces. And the second way is to build your own knowledge base for your project, just like on Cloud or Notebook LM. But with Perplexity, you can also utilize the web access features, which is super. So let's say I am doing local key research for this hotel, certain place. And this is their sales brochure about their business offering. And then on Perplexity, create a new space and type in all the details. And for the instruction, whenever I put a keyword and the region, it will do the same local keyword research analysis as we have Covered earlier. An important note is the keyword suggestions must be relevant to the business. And now go back to this space and upload the sales brochure to the knowledge base. If you have more, definitely upload more data about the business. And if you are concerned about the data privacy, you can always just upload the data that is available in the public. And then again, it would do the same analysis. And the best thing is they're always relevant to business because I can see keyword like luxury conference facility, luxury broad room with catering that are relevant to certain place hotel offering. And of course, the more you upload to the knowledge base, 
the more relevant keyword ideas you will get. Another tip is since currently you cannot set video or social as the search focus mode within a space. So if you need to focus on certain source medium, then you must specify in the custom instruction or in your prompt, like saying you only wanted to do analysis for video results. Then perplexly, we prioritize that accordingly. Another final tip is always, always double check the keyword by either using a proper keyword tool or manually checking the search result page to confirm if that's the good keyword you should target and where you can stand a chance to rank. If you want to know more about how to identify some good keywords as well as some other SEO tips, check out this video about the simple SEO actions that you can do today to improve ranking. I'll see you next time.